Hello, this is Omar Alvarado of theparadiddler.com. And the purpose of this video today is to sum up the previous two videos that I produced regarding the Vex Pro Touring Double Bass Pedal, which is this bad boy right here. He's the right side. And it seems like still a lot of people are having issues configuring them, uh, especially the left one, where even though the right pedal seems to be fine, the left pedal seems a little sloshy. And you know, could happen to the right pedal as well. It happened to me when I received the pedal, um, when I put it on my bass drum, the left side didn't feel right. It feel, you know, I had, when I was moving it, the pedal doesn't, didn't move very well. Um, had to hit it really hard for it to slam against the bass drum and I was wondering, you know, what's going on here. But after some tinkering, I think I figured out, at least in my case, what the problem or problems were. And I uh, basically took took it apart, not entirely, but um, to the point where I could see where the adjustments could be made so that the pedal worked nicely. The left pedal uh, is never going to feel like the right pedal. Uh, you can get it close, but don't get your hopes too high on that. But you can get them really close. And if you know exactly where to adjust, it should be fine. And there's a lot of different types of pedals that have different ways of adjusting them. You'll want to check with your manufacturer if you don't have this particular one, the VEX, to see how to adjust yours, but a lot of the principles are the same. So I'm going to be pretty specific to this pedal, and hopefully it'll help you finally um, get, get it just right how you want it. So that'll be the mission of this video, and it may repeat a couple of the things that I've mentioned in the previous two, but that's okay. There'll be some new things, and we'll go from there. So let's get right to it. All right, everyone, I have the double bass drum pedals apart here. Here are the different pieces. You have the left pedal right here. You have the right pedal here with the two beaters. And also have the middle bar here. And the first thing I want to say is about everywhere you can adjust. My number one rule here is wherever you see a bolt or a place where you can put that Allen wrench, tighten it. For example, on the left pedal, try to bring it closer here, you have this right here that you can put an Allen wrench in there. You can tighten the chain on the cam system here. And there's another place where you can put the Allen wrench. You got this bolt right here you can tighten. Um, that's you know basically there. And then also you have on here, you know, pretty much the same thing. Anywhere you see Anywhere you see a bolt, make sure it's tight. Anywhere you see a place where you can put that, you know, stick an Allen wrench in there, make sure it's tight. That way you'll at least ensure that you have all your bases covered as far as everything being, being tight. Even here, um, this little, where the spring attaches, we'll go over that in a minute as well. And so that's my main rule. Make sure that wherever you can tighten something, make sure it is tight. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention are the actual tools that you will need to tighten everything on your pedal. Uh, first of all, uh, the drum key that came with the pedals. Any drum key will do, but these, you know, fit snugly there on, on these bolts. The other thing that came with the pedals is the Allen wrench. Actually, two of them came with them. Uh, although I haven't seen where the slightly larger one goes, but this smaller one uh, is pretty much good for most of the adjustments that we would do. Uh, it goes in there and it goes in there. So you'll need that. The other thing you'll need <coughs> is this wrench here. So, for example, to adjust the tension on the springs. This is a left pedal spring. You know, it would go, let me just flip that over. It would go here and you can, you know, tighten or loosen that. And then you have the, you know, adjustment down here, which we're going to go over in a little bit. So you'll need that as well. And also you'll need flathead screwdriver. I'll tell you why when I get to that point. But, uh, and it's, I'll hardly ever need that, but it will be useful in a way. So that's my first rule. Make sure everything is adjusted tightly. 
Okay, here's a little review, kind of what I mentioned in the previous video, but it is appropriate to talk about here. I'll go into it in a little more detail. Um, I mentioned in the previous video about the little doohickey, I call it. So I'm going to take this spring off, and i show you what I mean. I'm going to show you, see the pedal just slopped all the way down, which is probably a problem for a lot of you. Here's the thing. You have this, let me bring it up here. This here has those two little Allen bolts in it. I don't know what you call those. I'm going to take it off with the Allen wrench here. I have mine in nice and tight like I have preached that you should do. Okay, so I have this off now. And notice that it has ridges all around. And that is because this little... Uh, stopper, I'll call it, that sits on top of it when the spring is attached to it. It makes for a state, you know, makes for stability when it's connected to you know, the rod on the pedal. So I'm going to put it back on and I'm going to show you how tight it's, how it should be put on there so that it doesn't slosh around. Okay, so that's nice and snug on there. I made sure. Now, something very important here is when you put the spring back on, now you're going to pull at it a little bit, make sure it's you're putting it on the right way. There we go, that's better. The, the stopper here, you're going to put on there. See how the pedal goes up and down like this? So, I'm just going to hold it and just slide that right on. Don't worry about the pedal sloshing around yet because we're going to tighten it in a moment. So now that now this stopper is here, it's placed on here, it's sitting on the infamous doohickey as I call it. But here's what you can do. Now you can, while it's still loose, you can raise the cam system up and down, see? See how the pedal just goes up and down. What's happening with most adjustments is uh, many people may be leaving the pedal too low. So what you can do is you gotta raise it up and while it's raised then with the drum key very carefully you tighten it. You tighten the spring so that when you tighten it really tight it stays stays up. And see how everything moves uniformly and you know has a pretty good bounce to it this is something you need to learn on your own to adjust how you want that tension to be or the height of the pedal the height of the pedal is determined by you know how and when you tighten this um, after you you know after you loosen this bolt here you move the pedal up and down that's one thing you can do um, to for you know the pedal to be at the height you want it to be. The other thing you can do is you know, face it this way. The top, you can actually adjust the chain on the cam system to be in three different positions. I'm going to take this bolt off here. <clears throat> okay. This comes off and if you move the ch this, I'll actually move it down a little bit. You can take just take the chain off. See? Now, when you take the chain off, let me show you here. There are these three sets of rows, teeth. You see them right there. Where you can put the chain on, and that will also adjust the height of the pedal. So, in my case, when the pedals came to me, and that's probably how they are standard, they were way up at the top. Um, I decided to put mine in the middle. I haven't tried that yet, so I'm going to. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Obviously, if you put it at the top, the pedal will be a little higher in the middle, a little lower, and the third setting down will be a little lower. Make sure that it's snug there. And then you just put this little metal plate back on. 
and tighten it with the drum key. You can just ensure that the plate stays in the middle so it's covering as much of the chain as possible. Tighten that because I advocate tightness. And there it is. So we saw how you could adjust the height of the pedal when you're, you know, before you tighten the the spring on here, the spring attachment. And now it moves pretty nicely. I, you know, if I hit it really hard, it'll hit the bottom. But you know, for the most part, when it's attached, it should work fine.